Hey. Let's see what's going on here. Okay. Uh -huh, there we are. Hey. Hey, what's up, bud? How we doing? Let me, I'm doing good. Let me uh let me put you right there. <laughs> hey man, you looking good, man. I gotta say, every time I see you on there, you're looking even better. You know, you your skin, everything, man. You know, you're looking really good, bro. Thanks. I'm feeling really good. Shit. What are you talking about? Man? I'm doing fantastic. <laughs> yeah, I hear Dude. you. Dude. I hear I'm you, uh, sitting on the front porch. My cat's about to knock over my. Come here. My kitty. Oh, oh yeah. Hi. Well, that's a big cat. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is my cat. Right. She, she doesn't let me hold her very long. She's a nut. But, yeah. uh,. How you doing, man? I'm hanging in there, brother. Um, I tried to uh, when I, I uh, you know, I selected to add a guest. You know, bring a guest. Uh huh. For some reason now I'm not able to share this with the other group for some reason. I don't know what that is. Maybe if uh, I don't know. You want to? Want, yeah. I don't after, know, you can share. You can share it after. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Okay. They don't. Everybody will know. So yeah. say that that big Dave is doing a. a uh, alive, so let's uh, let's do her up. Yeah, man. So, nope. uh, my lighter is not working, so. Uh oh. That's not good. All right, you got one of those. <laughs> you need a new battery. <laughs> no, it doesn't have battery. I think it's got. It should have fluid. Huh? No. It's, uh, no, it's got fluid. Anyway. Dude, so tell me about uh, how you became involved in Prove It first. I don't know hardly anything. I know we're friends um, from this this deal. Um, as far as me getting involved with uh, Prove It was my um, trip down to Tampa, where I ran into um, a friend of ours, uh, Janice. Yeah. Um, I was down there for business and stuff, and I had a, a weekend down there that I had to spend. And um, she knew that I was on this ketogenic diet and this journey and everything. And I've been trying other supplements that, you know, um, just weren't working for me. They were either tasting really bad and horrific. You mean other exogenous, 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 exogenous ketosis? Yeah. Other, other like ketosis? Like yeah. when you... <laughs> Yeah, I was experimenting a bit with other types of uh, exogenous ketones, and uh, nothing was working for me. Um, so she had this uh, Prove It product, and uh -huh. she invited me to her office uh, one afternoon uh, before we went out to lunch. And um, I tried them, and it was like probably like about five or ten minutes it hit me, and I just knew there was something definitely different about these ketones than anything that I have tried. So... That's pretty much how uh, I was introduced. Um, I mean, I knew right away. <laughs> so, you know, um, it was it was definitely an experience. It's still an experience. Uh, I'm loving it, man. I'm feeling great. I'm losing tons of weight. I got my energy back. You know. Well, how much how much weight have you lost? I'm over 130 now. 130 pounds down. Wow. Yeah. 130 pounds. Yeah. Holy crap! You're like another. You, you've lost an entire person. Right now, if you thought about that, if I was carrying around a hundred, uh, you know, if we were carrying around 130 pounds of uh, potatoes, we wouldn't get very far, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> you know. Did you Did you lose it all in your ass? What? <laughs> hey, I ain't got no ass. <laughs> Uh, really even holding my pants up so now you can just imagine i can't even put keys in my pockets they want to fall off me you know so <laughs> so what do you do do you have like uh so how many uh sizes have you lost i mean 130 that's got to be 
Yeah, that's um. I went from what was it, babe? Fifty-two. Or what? What size was I, sweetie? I was I was a fifty-four, and I'm down to what a forty a forty-six now. Yeah. So I still got some way to go. I mean, uh, but I mean, I'm already on the path, and every day I, I try not to get on the scale, but uh, I do it about once a month. And every time I do, I see a definite big gain. You know, I try not to live by the scale. I, I look at it as like, I see everybody, oh, I'm weighing myself, you know, every day. It's kind of like watching the clock. It's like, get off the scale. Just worry about how you're feeling, what you're doing. You know what I mean? Stop watching the clock. <laughs> so, so I know you, you drive trucks. So do you get a, you guys, how do you do that driving truck? Do you have a hot plate or something in your truck or? Yeah, I use, um, I have a few things. They have what they call a, a lunchbox oven that you can purchase at the um, truck stop. And um, you plug it in, the thing's sealed, so it steams everything. You put it in like a little tin, you put all your food in there, and then you close it up and lock it. And about a half hour later, that heats everything that you had. You know, you can cook vegetables, you know, roast, whatever you want in there. And it's it's amazing. It steams everything, so it works really good for veggies. Um, the hot plate, I got a, just a regular Sterno that uses a little butane tank. I pack my fridge. I try to get a lot of cooking done here at home during the weekend when I am home. I'm home for a very short period, so it's usually up only about, you know, just under 48 hours, sometimes maybe a little longer, but um, generally I get home late Friday and leave back out either Sunday or Monday morning. Um, so I try to get a lot of the cooking and shopping done while I'm here, and I pack my fridge, and I bring that all with me, you know. So, um, and I do all the cooking out there. You know, I don't, I don't order nothing out anymore unless maybe if I can get to a diner and get some scrambled eggs or, you know, stuff like that. But I try not to. Um, everything I have, local farm stuff. You know, I get all locally, uh, local eggs, local beef, grass-fed beef. I do all that stuff. You know. Well, I live in a little town, so my friend Claudia, uh, her husband owns the uh, meat pack uh, butcher here in town. She's married to a guy I went to high school with. They have, they have a uh, meat shop here in town. So I order all my meat from there. Yeah. Yeah. I try to stay local, small guys. I like that stuff, you know. Um, you know occasionally, you got to go to Walmart, but I'm with you there, you know. Where, where do you live at? I live right next to Hershey, Pennsylvania, right where they make all the chocolate. Hershey. Really? Yeah. Yep, that's you where we're need... at. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we actually have Hershey. Candy. That's that's why you weighed that's why you weighed as much as you did. No, no, <laughs> no it's just. Or uh... <laughs> well, was it all the beer? Yeah, I'd like to see that. What's that? Or is it all the beer? Must have been the beer. Yeah, I'm not really a beer drinker. Um, you know, every once in a while, if you guys, if we went out or something, I'd get, i you know, I'd throw one on with you guys. But uh, when I'm home, I got I got a liquor cabinet over here that is absolutely stuffed full. Of booze, I probably got about two, three grand worth of booze in there that I don't even drink, you know. So somebody comes over, I'll you know offer, you know, something like that. They, you know, I live yeah, I'm, I was, I never drank much. No, I'm not. No, if we go out, boys on the town, something, yeah, I might end up tying one on with you. No, I, I never did. I never drank. I never talked. I never cussed. Um, <laughs> I was a, I was an altar boy. Um, I was gonna say that's a sailor story right there. <laughs> I'll vape with you. Here's for you, Jim. Thanks, thanks. So anyway, man. Um, so I got involved. My my chiropractor hooked me up with uh, a drink, and uh, I was really sick. I just had my foot amputated when he, when he, uh, he uh, gave it to me. And I was really, my blood sugar was out of control. There's no way that I could have um, stopped what I was doing without this stuff. This stuff saved my life, definitely. I was eating candy and cakes and carbs, and my whole diet was was. Potatoes and and bread and and uh, chips and dip and candy bars and you name it. I was eating it. Ice cream. Yeah. So have have you actually changed any of your diet since then, or? 
Oh, I've changed it all. I don't eat uh, I don't eat carbs hardly at all anymore. I don't uh, like today. I had well, I take that back. I don't. I had some ice cream, but I'll drink my ketones right after, and I'm good. But I'm not eating a, a gallon of ice cream. I, I'll take a little container about that big, and I'm good. You know, I, I don't crave sugar. I don't crave uh, cakes. I don't crave candies anymore. That all those cravings left when I got involved with with the uh, prove it the drinks for whatever reason. Most of the time, I drink like I'll do coffee and the cream, keto creamer and the chocolate swirl in the morning, and then about nine thirty, um, I try to do the eight hour eating and the sixteen hour fast, and then I'll I'll eat like four eggs bacon, whatever meat I have, I'll just throw a bunch of meat in the pan and have that. I used to have one piece of toast, but I quit doing that. So I don't even do that anymore. I don't even do this. I don't even do the toast anymore. So um, I do all meat as much as I can. And then like last night I had uh, sausage and uh, cabbage. That was good. Nice. Yeah, that sounds good. And I onions. So if you love cabbage, try this one. You get the kielbasa sausage. You put it in a pan, brown it, put the cabbage in there with it, and let the cabbage get uh, this taste of the sausage with some onions and peas. It's good meal. <laughs> that sounds pretty good, buddy. Um, so, like, what was what was going on with you? Like, what was your initial, like, uh you know, status before you started uh, getting sick and everything with the diabetes? I mean, was it a progressional thing or was it something that you have been fighting for a while or? No, for, yeah, I, I got sick in, uh, what year was that? Uh, 2008. I was working, uh, I was a sales manager for a large pest control company in San Jose. And I was up in an attic and uh, I didn't know how bad my diabetes was at the time. And I got real sick. And I actually ended up in the hospital. Went on disability, permanent disability. And then, uh, so for, since 2008, uh, about the last 10 years, I've been on disability. And uh, then it just progressively got worse. Uh, more and more insulin, more uh, medication, more... Uh, stuff. I got real heavy. I got to like 270. And then I got uh, really sick recently and I lost, I got down to 152 uh, right before I had my foot amputated because my blood sugar was out of control. So um, got really sick. And what happens with the condition I had when you get really sick and it's out of control, you lose weight, but it's not a good thing. Not a good thing. Right. So, was it attacking your muscles and stuff like that? And yeah. Yeah. And now it's so. Since I've started taking ketone OS and prove it, and the products, um, in only four months, I went from one. I went from one fifty two. I'm one seventy nine today, and my muscles are coming back, and uh, my blood sugar reading was eighty. This morning, something like that. Just really? really low. Yeah, yeah. I don't, no problem. I'm off all medication. I was on heart meds. I was on um, blood pressure medicine, cholesterol medicine, um, psych meds. You name it. I'm not on any of that stuff anymore. And I didn't, and I didn't change my diet at first either. When I first drank it, I was eating um, whatever I wanted. I was eating candies, and but then what happened was I slowly changed my desire for the stuff. Next thing I know, I wasn't eating four candy bars a day. I was eating one, and then I didn't want it anymore. Right. And so once I started feeling so good, I said, there's something here. Let me look at this diet stuff. Let me look at this lifestyle. And, uh, you know, um, I was always taught that, that lots of fat 
and lots of bacon and stuff was bad for you, that you were you going to have heart disease and cholesterol problems and on and on and on. But that's not the case. That's not the case at all. I, I just, I, I feel great. And I'm off all my meds, all of them. I, I, don't, I don't take one medication. And I wake up, I sleep like a baby. I wake up more sound and happy. Uh, I'm very focused. That's the one thing I've noticed more than anything is my focus on uh, everything. My mind, my meditation. Hey, you need to quit that shit, Dave. It's going to kill you. Yeah, I know it. I know it. Well, I figured I'd join you with a smoke there, you know. What are you smoking today? <laughs> I'm not smoking. Hey, Kim. My, my the mother of my son is, is on. Hey, Kim. I did quit smoking cigars. Sorry, man. <laughs> oh, you're great, buddy. I love it. I love it. She, she's, she's always busted my chops about the cigars. Yeah, I got to do with the vaping. I'm trying to cut down. Uh, you know, it is what it is. No, you're not. You're lying. What are you not trying? You either do it or you don't. Well, that's that's I'm like trying. me saying I'm trying to quit. I, you know what? I like down. these. It's tough. It's tough. Right. You get nicotine. It's it's right. it's a bitch. I I know. Right. Well, I'm just cutting down a little bit. I was uh, vaping a little upset, uh, you know, excessively, and uh, cut down a little bit. I Not that you do anything excessively, Dave. Yeah. Well, either go big or go home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's. I can see that that about your personality. Yeah. So how did what 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 made you decide to change uh, what you were doing? I know you said you were doing ketogenic diet and stuff beforehand. So what was the the trigger that made you go ketogenic? Well, the initial reason, to be honest with you, is because I came home one day and I was like, you know what? I got all these guitars sitting around. I actually. Uh, I obtained about 12 guitars in my travels and I've been collecting and, you know, I used to play quite frequently back in my younger days. Um, anyways, I came home to play one day and it was uncomfortable. I was just too big to play. It was ridiculous. And I just sat there and I said to myself that, you know, this is absolutely ridiculous. This has got to stop. So I've done a few things in the past where I tried to lose weight and I couldn't stick with anything. Um, so I started researching more and I ran, I ran into a couple of ketogenic sites online and started researching the diet. Um, while I'm out there in my travels in the truck, as you know, I'm out there for about approximately 80 hours a week in the truck. That's about what my general work week is, about 80 hours I'm out there working. And um, I started studying a lot of the uh, Harvard. And there were some studies out of Illinois. There was a couple of doctors on there. I found Dr. Uh, Diagostino on there as well, Dominic. Um, and I started researching more about the actual diet. Um, so I followed that pretty intensely for a while. Um, I was doing well, losing weight. You know, um, my friend Janice had seen everything that I did and was following me a little bit and getting advice. And, you know, I actually started to like help people. So... Once I started feeling that, you know, helping somebody else obtain what I was obtaining, you know, it became more fun. It was, you know, it's better with a village than it is alone. So, um, you know, that's where she was turned on to giving me the experience. But initially, that's what it was. I came home and I was like, I'm going to start playing my guitars again. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to spend a couple hours a weekend, start jamming out again and having some fun. When I came home, it was just uncomfortable and ridiculous. I was like, this is, you know, this has got to stop. So... You know, that's pretty much what I've been doing, you know. Now you've been I, playing? Did you start playing again? Not yet. I'm waiting. I'm waiting a little bit. Um, I, I got, you know, I started a group and everything on Facebook, and uh, I've been pretty, you know. Um, what do you mean you started a musical group on the, on Facebook? No, How do you I do that? No. <laughs> yeah, I wish. Actually, I got the rock band on my iMac in there that I was going to fool around with. You know, you can simulate a band, but. I don't have time to go out. I'm not a I'm not a kid anymore. I don't want to be at the bars anymore or anything like that. If it was down someone's basement or something, it might be different. But out here, I'm originally from Boston. So out here, me and my wife are kind of 
in the middle of nowhere. You know, we're not from my hometown. We're not living in our hometown, so we don't know. Good. Yeah. Good. So. I'm out in the middle of nowhere in the neighborhood. <laughs> yeah. That's where I'm sitting right now. I'm sitting on my front porch. Hey, Claudia. My friend Claudia's. <laughs> on here, Claudia. I went to Claudia and I grew up in this town. She lived right next door to me. Oh, okay. She's like my sister. I've known her since I was eleven. Right. Yeah. Yeah. She used to bake the most terrible cookies in the world. <laughs> Speaking of cookies, we um we actually made those uh pita and nutter butters. Did you try those? No, dude, you got to start sending my wife, because I'm a terrible cook, but send my wife these recipes. Put her in the group, because I'm starting to post all the recipes and stuff in there. Put her in the Super Kids group that I started. And uh, I got to be honest, that's what I was talking about. That's taking up a lot of my time. I have a lot of people in there asking questions. And I'm pretty much, you know, on the phone all day long, just coaching people and, you know, talking to them, you know, talking to them and stuff and working with them. You know, so, so I have people that or on my uh, group that will watch this, okay. that, see, Claudia, Claudia, yeah, are you I talking about that. cookies? Oh, Claudia, no. what's... Okay, my wife made them. We got them right here. Let me, let me bring you for a quick trip. I'll show you what they look like. She, she's an excellent baker, but here we go. I'm going to turn you around real quick. Ah! Huh? Look at that. Ooh. They look good, dude. I like that. <laughs> Post the recipe in the comments for everybody when when it, when we get off here. I could do that after we get off. I can po I can paste it in. Yeah, post paste okay. it in there for everybody to see okay. to get uh, the ketogenic kids uh, uh, yeah, cookie super kids. recipe. Keto super kids. Ketogenic um, super kids. I'm on that group, so I'm I'm a ketogenic super kid. Yeah, you're a super kid, absolutely. Look at you, man. You're looking, you're looking so good, James. You know, even from the time I seen you in Epic, you know, I can see yeah, you I've, every I've, day. Well, you know what? I think it has a lot to do with the keto reboot. Um, I did oh, that keto reboot. Oh hell yeah, that thing! I feel really good because of that. Really good. I did the six. It was tough. The first day was really tough for me, and then the last few hours was tough. I actually woke up at uh, 3.30 in the morning, and I was hungry. So I, But I, I drank my ketones, and I cheated a little bit. I had some coffee and some cream that morning because I couldn't. I couldn't. There's just no way I could have. But I finished. I, finished. I didn't eat anything. For 60 hours, I didn't eat anything. But, uh, really? Really? Yeah, but the morning I had I had a little coffee and ketones, but uh, I like That's doing in the in the morning I like I like coffee, my death wish coffee, and I do French press with keto cream and the uh, Swiss cacao uh, chocolate mixed in, and that stuff. Yeah, I and. Mean, uh, you can drink black coffee and still remain in a fasted state. Yeah, I know that. By adding uh, the ketones, I don't think you really cheated. I wouldn't call that cheating. You know, not personally, but, um, you know, sometimes during my fast, I, I've, the longest I've got so far was uh, just under 63 hours. This last time we did this reboot, I think I was close to 70. I was going to try to do a 72, but I said, ah, eh, because of my, my days out here trucking, sometimes, I, you know, if I don't eat when I have a chance, I'm not going to be able to. So I started to get a little bit of a, little bit of a headache, you know. Yeah. So, um, you know, but normally I'll drink black coffee in between too, just to kind of give me a little, you know, um, caffeine. Craps? Or, give you the craps? Is yeah. That... After it did. <laughs> after, oh yeah. Out there on the road, that was not fun. That was not fun. Out there. <laughs> you know? Well, get a bucket. I used to drive truck. I know all about it. Get a bucket with a. Let me just tell you, every time I did, it was an emergency. <laughs> well, you get a, that's why you get a bucket with a, with a, I can't believe we're talking about this. Anyway, right. um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm loving, I'm loving the ketones. I'm loving the lifestyle. I'm, I'm doing good. I, hell, right. and if, if I keep reversing in age, hell, I'm going to go back to being a male model. Well, 
a lot of the times I tell people too, um, you know, the little story that you shared with me, like how you were, uh, what you were in the hospital for what, like four months in the bed and stuff with all that, with the amputation. No, I was in there for, uh, yeah, I was in my chair. Um, before I had the front of my foot amputated, this all started uh, over a year ago. I had my toes amputated because I ran across the street chasing my chihuahua, and I lived in Modesto. And I got a pebble in the bottom of my foot that got infected, went up through the foot, and uh, uh, had cellulitis real bad. They had to take some flesh from my foot, which turned into my toes, got in my bones. And then uh, because of that, it changed the wear pattern on my feet, and I got ulcers on my feet. Um, and those ulcers would not heal, and they got infected. And that's what caused the blood infection, which caused me to lose the front of my foot. And then, uh, but when they start, when they start, uh, uh, Trish, what's going on? Uh, when they start um, hacking on you, it's just a matter of time before they get your knee, they get your hip. Hey, Sean, my buddy Sean. Um, they get your hip, and then uh, you're done. When they, they can't go any farther than your hip. And uh, I seen my uncle die from that. And uh, so I was in a chair for about a year. And uh, with a flesh pump on my foot, my poor wife waiting on me. And so I, when I was first started the, the deal over a year ago, um, I weighed 265 pounds. And uh, I was a pretty big guy. And... Uh, I just got sick, started losing weight, got down to like 220, and then lost more, got under 200, got to 190-something. Uh, went on, did, was started doing art to, because I get out of my chair, I wanted to go do art. And that's what I did. I, I did a bunch of art and uh, had a, actually had an art gallery showing. And, uh, um, but I was really sick and uh, couldn't walk very far. And then I went on the Alaskan cruise, came back, and that's when they took my foot. But, uh, yeah, um, and yeah, it's, it's been an amazing thing. This stuff has changed my life big time. I mean, I anybody should try this. You know what? Try it. Give it 30 days. You do other stuff 30 days. People are saying, oh, it's expensive. Well, yeah, it, it is. But you always get what you pay for. Shit. Think about this. My wife and I, I had her pull up on an Excel spreadsheet. I said, put monsters in there. Hey, Renee. I said, put a list of the monster drinks that people drink on a daily basis. Because I, I used to drink three or four of them. I'd say, put three of them. Go see how much they cost. She said they're like three-something a piece. Okay, three. Three of those a day. And then a diet soda, a diet Pepsi can or whatever. Go to the store. You go to a mini mart. It's a buck fifty. Easy. Easy. What do you, how many of those are you drinking a day? Four? Five? Three monsters, four sodas, a couple bags of chip a day. Right? Yeah. Well, you know, you you drove truck. Yeah. How much of that crap did you eat? How much candy bars? Uh, I was All drinking, right. Uh, I was drinking probably at least three to four of those monsters, taking the five-hour energies. None of that crap worked. No. And you do all that. So what are we at? Three, three. so we're at 10, we're at 12, we're at $15 a day. You do that. Just say you do it five days a week. But we know you don't. We know people are buying Starbucks six, seven times a day. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and that's five, six hundred dollars a month. So get a box of ketones. Let's say you just get regular keto OS. What is that? 110? Something right. like that. Yeah. You get 22 percent off. You go on auto ship that you can cancel any time. So I promise you, you drink this stuff for 30 days, 30 days. You will stop drinking as many. You might still drink a couple. But you're going to save money. You're going to save so much money because you're not going to be as hungry. You're not going to be snacking as much. You're going to cut out some of the candy bars. You're going to cut out the chips. 
you're probably going to cut out the sodas because they'll taste different. That's what happened with me. They just taste, they don't taste the same. No. And then, and then you start drinking more water and you're, you become more healthy. You just naturally change your, your habits. You sleep better. All the things you want and you have more energy and focus is what you're trying to get with the monsters and stuff. It just makes sense to me. So when people say to me all the time, you know what, Jim, it's, it's really expensive. Yes, it is. But how expensive is diabetes or how expensive is, and I'm not making any medical claims, how expensive is uh, not sleeping or how expensive is feeling like crap all the time? How expensive is that? Yeah, that was me, too. I mean, like all day long, I'd be driving five, six hours, have a little snack, and I'd need a nap. I don't have that problem anymore. I, I, still, okay. I still need a nap. I'm like I'm six. I, I still need a nap. <laughs> well, you're, you're at that age where that's acceptable, but, you know, when you're trying to work the 11-hour drive, <laughs> when you're trying to work that 11-hour drive and you got a deadline... It's really not uh, conducive, you know what I mean? Um, I'm at really that crazy. age. I got I got that age. I got your age, age hanging, Dave. I'm at that age. Fuck you. Hey, you're a young man. Look at you. 20 years younger already. And you just started, right? How long have you been How long have you been on ketones now, uh, Jim? Four months? Yeah, four only. Only four months. Only four months, and all my stuff is perfect. Uh, really? I went from, I had pill boxes, Dave, pill boxes that I would have Monday through Sunday. I would take 12 in the morning and 18 at night, every yeah. day. Holy and God. now, and, sh- and shots in my stomach four or five times a day. And now, nothing. Really? That's Zero amazing. in four months. And uh, if I could just eat what eat this stuff, and I cheat, I'm not I'm not perfect. I cheat all the time. Hell, I have ice cream, and uh, I have snacks. And uh, if I want to, if I feel like eating it, so what I've done is just replace stuff. So I have instead of having a gallon of ice cream or a quart of ice cream, I have a little thing of ice cream. And instead of uh, my potato chips, I'll have pork rinds, hot. Spicy pork rinds is what I like. Yep, yep. And uh, like this morning, I had a pork chop uh, that I had left over from last night, and I fried eggs in butter, full fat butter, a bunch of. And uh, for lunch, I had uh, some sausage, and uh, I don't know what I'm having for dinner. Um, my wife has left me to my own devices today. She went out to... <laughs> The movies with a girlfriend, so. Oh, okay. Nice. Nice. I hear you. Yeah, I mean, I walk right through the candy aisle and the the donut aisle, whatever you want to call it, the cupcake aisle. I can walk right through there without a problem. I have no more cravings than any of that stuff. I mean, uh, to be honest, I was never really a too big of a sweet guy. I would have donuts here and there or whatever, you know, of course, quick snacks. Dave, you didn't, you, didn't, you didn't get as big as you were without eating donuts. Oh, yeah, I had some. But I was, mainly, <laughs> I, was mainly, I was mainly a mashed potato guy or a pasta guy. I ate a lot of pastas, I ate a lot of potatoes, and I ate a lot of bread. Everything was a sandwich or potatoes or pasta. That's all it was every day, four or five times a day, you know. Hey, the Keto Cartel in the house. Let's <laughs> go, Keto Cartel, baby. <laughs> Absolutely. My buddy Vaughn's. My buddy Vaughn is. Uh, from Florida. That's a good dude. Oh, yeah. I didn't get a chance to meet him. Um, things were kind of, you know, crazy down there. There was so much stuff going on that uh, I didn't really get to lock in. I locked in with you for a little while, but you know, there's just a lot, so much going on at that epic, man. That was crazy, huh? My head was yeah, like we, almost two weeks after that. <laughs> it, was, it was epic. Yeah, my head was ringing, brother. Now, I got some weeks. good cigar connections when I was down there, so. Okay. My buddy Raul. Oh hell yeah! I Dude. see you at the airport. Is that where you were? That little lounge there? No, that at the airport. Shit, I, that's a whole story. The airport. <laughs> I can imagine. T- TSA ripped me a new one, 
uh, I end up missing oh, my yeah. flight and staying with Vaughn, and um, it was it was interesting. And then the second day when I went back, the same same two jokers were there that messed with me the day before, and I got a full strip search for an hour and a half. <laughs> for an hour and a half, really? Yeah, that's. That's they had they had me take my shoes off and clothes off and I had fun with the TSA agents until a Marine showed up a Marine Corps sergeant showed up from that was well you're never a former Marine you'll always a Marine but a Marine Corps sergeant showed up and saved me really yeah he was uh, he was their supervisor okay. and uh, he came in he got he got a little upset. And I got on my flight and came home. But, yeah, I expected that. I expected it. I, was, I wasn't a very pleasant person to the uh, – to the. Uh, yeah, Trish wants to know if you enjoyed Jeff. that, Jim. What? <laughs> Trish, Trish, I probably did. <laughs> <laughs> probably a little too much. Yeah, yeah, it was fun. Yeah, well, I guess you you probably knew right away when you seen them two again, the same guys, right? You knew right away. Oh, I knew it was coming. Yeah, that's I knew it. I was like, yeah, this is gonna happen. I'm in for fun. It, this yeah. is this is this is gonna be their day. And, they take, uh, so they took you in their private little back room. Is that what they did? Yeah. Yeah, the the little the little lounge. Uh, you know. Yeah. Because I wasn't being cooperative, right? I I called them, I called them assholes. Yeah, so you kind of they don't like that. Caused the scene. They didn't like it. Yeah. Hey, it is what it is, right? Call it as you see it. Yeah, I'm lucky. I'm not on the no fly list, but I'm not. <laughs> yeah, I suppose you could be today. I mean, geez, so that's crazy. So um, moving forward, though, buddy. Um, I, I understand you're doing lots of things now from what, you know, from where you were. I mean, uh, you took up some, uh, what was it, jujitsu? And... Yeah, yeah, I, have, I haven't I have gone in a, a couple of weeks uh, just because of schedule and stuff, but I'll, I'll be going back. And uh, um, just got a lot of stuff going on. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm uh, uh, doing this uh, and uh, going to start engaging in life again. Uh, but my wife is this huge for Tammy. She's got a neurological disorder, and uh, as a matter of fact, she's out with her girlfriend right now. We were both stuck in this house. My wife had the shake so bad she couldn't hardly hold nothing. She had a scooter. Uh, she couldn't walk upstairs. She couldn't go to the movies because she would lose her energy, have energy crashes. And today, she quit shaking. Um, we're selling her scooter. Uh, she just went to the movies with her girlfriend, walked up some stairs. She texted me a couple times. So, yeah, she, we're both doing well because of this product. Yeah. Absolutely, it's absolutely, absolutely gave us our life back. Right. 110%. So. That's amazing. That's amazing. I, I know what you're saying with the neurological thing. Uh, back in 94... Uh, I had a, uh, a fall. I fell off a third-story building that the um, the roof gave away on me. And uh, I ended up taking half the roof with me, and I hit the concrete and smashed my head open down on the bottom there. And I woke up, uh, you know. But I had some neurological damage to, like, this part, portion of my face to where it was numb. And i got to be honest with you. I've noticed that it's not – it's definitely a lot less than it was. Yeah. Yeah, it used to be like a pins and needles kind of thing, and I don't have that anymore. It's gone. It's I mean it's still flight, but not halfway where it was. So what you're so what you're telling me, Dave, is that um, you're not right in the head? Well, as long as I land on my head, I'll be all right. <laughs> right head. Well you you do have a big head. I have to say, you have one of those yeah, big. Yeah, yeah. I'm a big guy. <laughs> yeah, I'm a big guy. Look at the head on that kid. 
<laughs> oh, you got it. <laughs> You're a gooba. A goo, a gooba. I'm a gooba. Yeah. Dr. Car in the yard. Hell yeah. You guys, you guys talk funny to me, so. Yeah, that's 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 the Boston thing going on, you know. Park the car, yep. Pepperidge Farms, you know. <laughs> what are Pepperidge Farms. Is that what? No more Pepperidge Farms for you, though. <laughs> no, no, you know, I, I like Pepperidge Farms. Good shit. Yeah, yeah, you bastards. <laughs> on here busting my balls about this. That's great. No, I love it. You know what? You know what? Uh, they, um, you and your big pumpkin head there and, and uh, whatever. <laughs> He's getting pissed off. Nah. nah. I'm a little more pumpkin uh, than that. Come on, you can do better. <laughs> yeah, it's Trent, the way I have the phone. See, Trish, I'm not like Trish says I haven't lost my accent either. There you go. Head. <laughs> Your fingers aren't big enough, Dave. Right. <laughs> <laughs> My fingers ain't big enough. Nice. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, where, where are you from, Trish? You know what, Trish? You got the worst name. That's that's my my ex wife's name that that works for the IRS. Um, I think, yeah, so a cup of Kathy. You want a cup of Kathy? <laughs> Are you from Kathy? Where's, where's that? What's up, Craig? Boston. Boston. She's from Boston. Yep, she's Same from Boston. Same place you're from. I'm from Southie myself, South Boston area. But oh, you're a Southie. Our Irish town. I got a French last name, but I'm actually more Irish than anything, come to find out through that little uh, DNA thing that's going on. So oh, you did the DNA deal? Well, my father did, and I went by his. <laughs> I got a whole thing on the DNA. I got a whole thing on the DNA deal. You're yeah. in the database. Yeah, I, I kind of figured that. I didn't do it. My old man did. I tried to squish your head, but it's not working. <laughs> and Zurich, why do you say that? My maiden name is Anzoni. Anzoni? Oh, so you're Italian. Well, imagine that. Italian from Boston, Irish from Boston. East Coast is full of Italians and Irishmen. Yeah. Yep, that and Frenchies. Lots of Frenchies, too. Well, I found out I'm Irish, but I'm also French. My uh, my mother's family's from French Canada. Oh, really? French French Canadian. Yeah, I didn't know that because I I said that the problem with France is it's full of Frenchmen. Oh, see that Trisha's half Irish too. Trisha's good kid. She's a good kid. She's part of the super kids. She's on. And she's there. half. That's your best half, Chris, is your Irish half. That's that's the best. <laughs> hey, she's part of the super kid cartel. The super kids. I don't know where you come up with this super kid shit. <laughs> that's how I felt. I felt like a kid again. I do. I feel younger than I felt. So, you know, that's where I kind of got the idea. You know, I, it made me feel a lot younger than I have been lately. I'm not going to lie. I mean, I was I was pretty destitute, man, for a while, you know. No energy, no motivation. Yeah. Just didn't want to do nothing. Didn't even want to go to work, to be honest, you know. Well, Trish is a Sicilian. The way combo you got, you don't get pissed off easy, do you, Trish? Sicilian and Irish? You're, you're pretty even keeled, aren't you? <laughs> she only gets mad if you pour a half a beer. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you never did worry about your boyfriends. So, 
<laughs> was it was was your pops a part of that uh, organization? I knew a lot of those guys. I was stationed in New York and Philly. They all they all were my friends, but didn't mess with those guys too much. I liked them. We had fun. Yep. Yeah. A lot of respect. They're yeah, crazy. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. you don't fuck you don't fuck around with those guys. No. Nope. Let's see what happens. That's why I'm I'm just the innocent, quiet guy. I don't say much. I don't. I, I've never done anything wrong. Um, just, just pure as a driven snow, really. Um, I try to, I try to do the best I can uh, with what little God has given me. We also have a couple of bridges going to the moon if you buy that one. <laughs> What do you got today? What's that? A macanudo? Oh, I don't, I don't smoke those macanudo, dude. You don't know anything about cigars. I don't like macanudos that much. No, this is uh, a, this is a. Uh, Other than that, it's been the uh, what backwoods or uh, black and mild. This is yeah. this one right here is a uh, Saint Louis Ray Especial. It's a Series G. And it's a uh, Maduro, and it's a good cigar. Uh, yes, it is. It's, it's. I think this is Dominican, but okay. s same stuff. They, all the Dominican and Nicaraguan are all seeds from uh, the Cuban plants, typically. See here, we have. Uh, well, you can't see it because of the light, huh? Mango fuzz, right from Hershey, Pennsylvania. <laughs> it's a mix of mango and peach. <laughs> it's actually pretty good. I'm a I'm a fruity guy. I like that kind of stuff. You know, like uh, have you tried the amp? Did you try that amp? Yeah, of course I tried amp. I love amp. Like of you course. Like Colada? Yeah, you did. See? Oh hell yeah! It's not far from that yeah. kind of flavor, except it doesn't have any coconut. It's pretty close. Yeah. No, I like that stuff. I just don't want to smoke it. Well, I just eat it out of the package. I don't use the water. <laughs> That's the well, anyway, anyway, Dave, you know uh, we're getting a little long in the tooth here, dude. So yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna get off here and uh, go spend the rest of my day uh, with my puppies. I'm looking at getting a new puppy because we lost our our little guy. Yeah, and uh, a sev, and I got a low battery reading, just came up on my phone. So, um, yeah. Anyway, we'll bro. Do this again, sometime soon or whatever you get a chance. You know, um, it's been a pleasure, mm -hmm. brother. Have a good day, and uh, you know, I'll be around. Go ahead and say. All right. Hi. All right, brother. Hey, Trish. Nice chatting with you, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. And what I say at the, huh? What I say, I'm gonna say it. What I say at the end of every Facebook Live, keep charging, my friends. Awesome, James. You look good, buddy. See ya. See ya.